Wait until you go through this line. The product of two or more fractions is equal to the product of the numerators divided by the product of the, what, what do you think, Liam? Denominators. The denominators, exactly. The denominators. So, if I have two fractions, we'll just call them A over B, being multiplied by C over D, that's going to be equal to A times C divided by B times C. So take a second, get that jotted in your notes, because that will be important. Give me a thumbs up on the end of your desk when you are ready to move forward. Taking that definition, let's do an example together. If I have 5 over 8 being multiplied by 7 over 10, somebody raise their hand and help me out. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this problem? Gabe, what's my first step? So we multiply across. We multiply across. So what eight, do you want to multiply across first? 8 times 10. 8 times 10? 8. The, the denominators? Mm -hmm. We're going to have 8 times 10 on the bottom. What are we going to have on top, Aaron? 7 times, or 5 times 7. 5 times 7. All right, let's simplify this. Tell me as a group, what's 5 times 7? 39. Come on, tell me as a group. 39. Beautiful. <coughs> what's 8 times 10? 80. 80. How can we simplify this down? Anna, we can divide each, uh, the numerator and the denominator each by 5. So what's 35 divided by 5? 7. 7. What's 80 divided by 5? 16. What's 80 divided by 5? 16. Perfect. All right. So I just went through this long process of getting to the answer of 7 over 16. If I start right here, 5 over 8 times 7 over 10, can I simplify that at all before I evaluate? Can I simplify? Yeah? Um, you can cross multiply the 5 and the 10. Cross multiply. I like one of those words. I like the cross. Cross what? 5. Maybe not the cross of the 5. Okay. Cross simplify. Cross simplify. Well, what can I simplify here? What can I simplify? Shandy. The 5 and the 10. What goes into both 5 and 10? What's my greatest common factor there? 5. What's 5 divided by 5? 1. What's 10 divided by 5? 2. Now when I multiply across, I get 7 over 16. Do you agree that that's faster? Yeah. Does it save me room? Or save me time? Yeah. Save me some work? Yeah. yeah. So cross simplify. Very important. All right. Um, moving forward as well, you guys are going to get. Um, you're going to see uh, these different variable expressions that you're going to have to evaluate. So say I have an x that's equal to one half, and I have a y that's equal to negative three fourths. Take 20 seconds with your, with your table partner and evaluate x squared times y. Ready, set, go. Um, so I want you talking with your table partner to so think about this. So,
Yep. Alright, let's come back together. Who can help me out? Who can help me out besides Gabe? What is x squared times y? Somebody new who hasn't raised their hand yet. Hey Lynn. What's the first step? It's okay, just walk me through your thought process here. <laughs> what is 1 times 3? And negative 3. 1 is negative 3. Negative 3. Okay. I like that except for the word cross multiply. Austin. Uh, I didn't think you know. Uh, half times the half. Okay, so you plug, you plug in the x squared, which is 1 half. 1 half squared is basically just 1 half times 1 half. Yes, all right, keep me going. Oh, and that's 16 out of 4. And then a... What's that? 1 fourth. 1 fourth. So answer, so one. Yeah. And then a, a, a times a negative 3 fourths. Negative 3 fourths, and what did you get for an answer? Uh, negative 3 sixteenths. Negative 3 sixteenths. Can I simplify negative 3 sixteenths? Uh -uh. Yeah. Give me a thumbs up for yes, give me a thumbs down for no. For no. Their greatest common factor is 1. We divide each one by 1, does that break them down anymore? Say no. Um, Say no really loud. No. no. Say no even louder. No! Beautiful. I like it. Alright, now let's talk about dividing fractions. Multiplying is pretty simple compared to dividing, which gets a little more tricky. All right, to divide by a fraction, multiply by its reciprocal. Well, what is a reciprocal? Reciprocals are two non-zero numbers whose product is 1. Reciprocals are also called multiplicative inverses. Get this into your notes. So if I have reciprocal, for example, if I have the fraction 3 over 7, my reciprocal is going to be 7 over 3. When I multiply these together, 3 over 7 times 7 over 3, so that's equal to 21 over 21, which is equal to 1. A lot of information there. I'm going to take a second and get that down. If I have the fraction one third. Actually, no, let's make it two thirds. What's my reciprocal going to be? Sophie. What's the reciprocal of two thirds? Think about it. Who can help Sophie out? Shandy. Three over two. What's the reciprocal of five sevenths? Yeah. Seven fifths. Seven fifths. What's the reciprocal of one half? Two over one. What's the reciprocal of seven? Aaron? One over seven. One over seven. All right. These reciprocals are also called multiplicative inverses. Because when I multiply them by each other, their product is, hold it up, their product is one. 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 All right, let's do some example. Five nine fifteenths divided by one half. 
20 seconds with your table partner. What is this? What is it going to turn into? What's it going to look like? And then what's it going to simplify to? Ready, set, go. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, we're going to swap the limit to 15 and we'll use the one by 15. Would you say 9 divided by 15? 9 times 2. Yeah, flip it up at 18. All right, your 20 seconds is up. Who wants to come up here and show their work? I see the same three hands every single time. Scott, come on up. All right, so talk nice and loud. What is that that you said? You do that. Okay. The old switcheroo. What's the old switcheroo technically called? What, what was it? Say it clearly. What is it? Reciprocal. Good. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey, make sure we're focusing. Scott got to 8 fifteenths, or 18 fifteenths, and then we tried to simplify into a mixed number. Can we break down 18 over 15, can we simplify that down as just an improper fraction? Robert. What's the question? Can we break this down, can we simplify this as just an improper fraction? Do the, yes, be confident. What is the greatest common factor between 18 and 15? Three. Three. All right, what's 18 divided by three? Six. Six, what's 15 divided by three? Five. Five, six fifths. I like that. When we get here, I want us to stay here because trying to turn that into a mixed number is just one more step where you can make a mistake. That, that too. All right, let's do one more example so I can set you guys loose on today's activity. Negative three eighths divided by three. Twenty seconds. Table partner. Turn to your other table partner who you haven't talked to. Go. Hey, Hey. Woo! 
First of all, hey, clap once if you agree. Clap twice if you think it can be more simplified. Is that good? How can we simplify that down a little bit more, Mara? What's my greatest common factor between 3 and 24? Not one. Um, I help her out. Hey. Liam? Three. What's negative three divided by three? Negative one over. What's 24 divided by three? Yeah, check me. Eight. Don't push the button. Push the button. Don't push the button. All right. There we go. Eight Give Mara a big old round of applause. Now, I have a question for you. Give it a second. Sorry. I'll wait. Okay, my question for you on this problem. I have negative three-eighths being multiplied by the reciprocal of three, which is one-third. Can I do that thing that we talked about, like, right at the start? What is it called? What was it, Aaron? Cross simplify. Cross simplify. Can I cross simplify here? Yeah. yeah. Yes. What can I do with these threes? You can um simplify them down to one. What's negative three divided by three? What's three divided by three? One. So now I'm just going to multiply across. I have negative one. Great. Again, is this less work than that? Yeah. Does, is either one of them wrong, though? No. No. All right. So, I don't know how much you guys love puzzles. Oh, yay. Time for another puzzle of that. Puzzle? So pumped out. We're hey, going through a puzzle. That's really hard to put together. Kaylin, listen, I'm going to group you with a partner. Keep it quiet right now, please. I'm going to group you with a partner. You're going to work on this with your partner for the rest of the period. Now, on one side, I don't care. On one side, we multiply fractions. On the other side, we're going to divide fractions. On the side that we're multiplying fractions, down at the bottom, there's a list of five answers. These are the five answers you're going to get for every one of these problems. I suggest there's three of these answers. Hey, Scott, put that on the floor, please. Thank you. I suggest three of them are mixed numbers. Turn those mixed numbers into improper fractions so that you don't have to simplify your letters <coughs> back into mixed numbers. Again, that's one more, one more step where we can make a mistake. Okay, got it? Thank <laughs> you. 